we go. Thinking about birds. You have a favorite bird? This one. <laughs> <laughs> you walked right into that one. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction to some Corbin. That was pretty good. And you follow us on Instagram, Instagram Twitter, 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 I uh, like Time Pass. Well, we've read your writing, and it is Time Pass. Yeah. <laughs> Very funny guy. Yeah. We've had, seriously, I don't think we've had one stand-up comedian that we've thought tanked. Yeah. Well, there's ones we didn't get. There were a couple we didn't get, but there hasn't been anybody we watched and said, not funny, sorry. Yeah, there's didn't been like some freaking hilarious ones. Really, really good ones for the uh, most part. This one's uh, by Kana Gill. Uh, relationships, Traps, and Blackheads. Keep it real. That's what it's called. I like it. You ever had a significant other pop a blackhead on you? Yeah. That's disgusting. No, and I love to do that. Ew. That's so gross. Uh, it's not significant other because, yes, Cindy, my very first serious relationship, uh, she would have been like me. It was like, oh, let me get that. That's gross. Um, and, yeah, no, I... That's gross. Especially my kids. If my kids had a, had a zit, man, I love popping zits. Gross. Here we go. Before I met my girlfriend, I didn't even know what love was. Was. And I still don't. <laughs> oh. But I'm beginning to get it slightly. Because I feel like every relationship is like a delicately balanced game of Jenga. <laughs> and the longer you've been dating, the higher that pile is. <laughs> but when you fight, you start pulling stuff out. It's a dangerous game, because when the fight starts, it's always about what has just happened. Like, hey, how could you just say that? <laughs> um, well, because two weeks ago, yeah. remember this statement? <laughs> so, we're playing the remembering game. <laughs> Six months ago, in front of your friends, <laughs> well, yeah, how about eight years ago, 16 years ago, before you were born at the party? When you don't know logic, you're like, you know what? Fuck you. Because <laughs> fights start with logic and reason, but end with fuck you. And that's what's left. When my friends fight with me, that's always step one. They're like, kind of have a problem with you. And I'm like, hey, fuck you then. <laughs> Why would you fuck you right there? But when I find my girlfriend, it's different. Because she's saying stuff to me, she's mad at me, and I feel that fuck you coming from deep inside, like acidity. Burning. <laughs> Say stuff. I'm like, you wait. You wait for this fuck you. Like, eh. Rises slowly in my throat. It just seems to be boring. It comes to here, but then sorry comes up. That's a wise man. Which is weird. No, I mean fuck you. I mean fuck you. But I'm saying sorry. Because that's what love is. It's a series of songs that mean yeah. fuck you. <laughs> then you die. It's she fun. tells me all the time. She's like, why can't you just tell me what you think? <laughs> because then you would leave me. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> Let's just keep it that way. When you start getting a relationship, that's the worry. Don't leave me, don't leave me, don't leave me. But real love is where will you go? <laughs> Come back to Date for long enough, you become codependent. You go from two separate interesting people and you become one boring person. <laughs> because your personalities cancel out. Loves to travel plus hates to travel equals travels sometimes angry. <laughs> That's very good. I love Morocco. Thanks for bringing me. It's true, we have different interests than I expect. I respect that, she loves traveling, I hate it. I love metal, love metal, grew up listening to metal. She won't listen. <laughs> Two years, I've been trying to show her one metal documentary. It's 55 minutes long, she won't fucking watch it. 
I saw a situation like, hey, we were watching, she's like, oh, I'm sleeping, some bitch. <laughs> so we've decided, we need to take an interest in each other's things, and the way we do that is, if one person is to make the other person do something they don't want, it must be a trap. <laughs> I'll give you an example of a really good trap. One day she was like, you want to come to my friend's wedding in a month? I was like, of course, why not? No, radio silence on that for one month. The day before the wedding, she was like, hey, by the way, it's in Nepal. <laughs> Well played. <laughs> I wish. I'd love to go to Nepal. Right. It's not like we don't do anything together. We recently went out for something called handwriting analysis. <laughs> like I looked at my handwriting, he's like, oh sir, you are very gullible. <laughs> I was like, how do you know that? Well, because you came here. Ah. You learn stuff also when you're in a relationship. Like I learned I had blackheads. <laughs> I didn't even know what blackheads were, but now I know they exist, I have them. If you don't know what blackheads are, they're small black things on your nose that only women can see. <laughs> and depending on how much they like you, they'll put you in a headlock and <laughs> remove them. This is basically an act of marking territory. <laughs> Some other girl sees you in a bar and like, hey, what a cute guy. Oh shit, smooth nose. <laughs> this guy's in a relationship. It's <laughs> good. He's funny, man. Yep. He has a very unique delivery about him too. Good writing. Uh, yeah. He has he has a voice that that um it it's very unique. And it, it lends itself to a good punchline. Yeah, it does. He, he can go to hear and listen to more. Yeah, yeah. He has a, he has a, I mean, I guess uh, he speaks English, so that, <laughs> that probably helps. Yeah, but you're right. The, 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 a big, there's a lot of factors that go into being a good stand up comedian, and one of them is your delivery, both in how listenable your voice is, how, how genuine you sound, and also the ti your timing. The timing on when you say your your certain your comedians lines. have iconic voices, like uh, John Mulaney. Yeah, has an iconic voice. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Robin has many iconic voices. Yes, he does. <laughs> he does indeed. Uh, Billy Crystal would be one of. The, he has a very iconic voice. Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah, oh, yeah, probably the most. Yeah, <laughs> Ellen. Them? Yeah, Ellen's got. Come on. Yeah. Uh, so there's a lot. He has a very great, unique voice that suits itself for stand up and. And great writing. Yeah. Very funny stuff. Um, you ever blackheads? Oh, so, yeah. Have I ever had them? I don't think I've ever had them. Yeah, I had them mostly when I was a teenager. And I don't think I've ever had one. Yeah. I, I remember, and it was oddly enough, yes, it was girls. It was Dawn and Denise, who Dawn and Denise were my stepsisters by reason of a common law marriage. My dad never legally married. The mm. lady who was my stepmom, gotcha. But was with her for seven years, and she had two daughters from a previous previous relationship, who were two years my senior. So when I was starting high school, they were juniors, and I was living with them in Agora, and so they were like, "Hey, come here, let me." And they I actually, I had a blackhead remover. You can buy a blackhead remover. Gross. Yeah. Ugh, that's disgusting. They're fun when you do it though. No, I mirror and I. They it, come out. It's like a little. Little rivulet of warm light, ribbony white stuff. I've never, ha I never really had acne. I mean, I've had a couple zits here and there. Sure, me too. But yeah, yeah. I never had serious acne. My brother had bad acne mm. uh, growing up. Uh, I think my younger brother has some. So he had for a while some bad acne. Do you get your face screwed up and you have to shave? Do you get razor burn? Uh, no. Okay, that's yeah. See, I I'm thankful. I love shaving. It feels like scratching an itch. It never. Is well, I hate me. shaving because I feel naked when I don't have. Oh yeah, I love shaving. But I, there's a lot of lot of men who every time they shave, it just screws their face up. I'm wondering hurts. if it's because I've never. I mean, I've. This is gonna sound weird. I've never like washed my face. Yeah. I don't wash my face. Yeah, you know, like some people like at the. I know. End get soap and water. Face face and I'm with you. I've never done that. Me too. Uh, obviously, I'll. That's funny. When I'm in the bath. Oh, no, in the shower, like the, shower, like, the shampoo and stuff gets all over, but I don't purposefully, unless I'm I've had makeup on. I'm wondering if it's just because my pores are so clogged already, nothing else can get in there. Actually, I've had compliments on my skin, yeah. and part of that's because I don't put stuff on my face. Yeah. Um, the only time I really ever wash my face is after I've had makeup on because of something I've done acting-wise. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then I wash my face. Yeah. But other than that, I'm with you. I don't put soap or anything. I always face. have very dry skin. On your hands? Everywhere. Oh, really? Dry skin. Even if I was a baby. Yeah. Well, this was... Yeah. Wasn't this exhilarating conversation? 
Like, he's a very funny comedian. Very funny love comedian. To see more from him uh, and many other comedians. Uh, we do love a good stand-up. So let us know who else we should react to and what other sets we should react to down below. Da <laughs> <laughs>